हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ऑनलाइन माइकल बैलजी इन माय चैनल यू कैन फाइंड ऑल वीडियोस ऑन बायोलॉजी एंड इन दिस टुडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द साइंस सिलेबस इन द टी एस टेट पेपर टू एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लेवेंथ टॉपिक इन द टी एस टेट पेपर टू एग्जाम विच इज बायोलॉजी इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस इन एवरी डे ऑफ लाइफ सो दिस टॉपिक इज अ जनरल टॉपिक you need not to learn more about this topic but just uh, be aware of its importance in everyday life so let us first discuss about the word biology so biology means bio means living organisms or life and logy means study so biology itself means the study of living organisms or life so let us first understand the definition of biology the study of life and living organisms from one cell creatures to the most complex living organisms so biology means the study of life and living organisms so in deals with the all living organisms but not in particular organisms so it covers the entire living organisms from one cell creatures so let us take example of a bacteria viruses which are the single cell organisms and the most complex living organisms uh, means we are human beings itself so biology deals with the one cell organisms to most complex living organisms so it uh, entirely covers the all living forms on the planet so it includes the study of genes and cells that gives living things that special characteristics so first let us understand what are the genes so genes are nothing but the dna so uh, if we take um, bacteria it has certain types of genes and dna and if we take human beings it takes genes contains a uh, uh, different types of uh, genes are present in human beings and particularly different types of dna is present so living beings uh, are getting certain uh, characteristics based on the genes so if we study the genes in the bacteria and and in the human beings and in plants we can understand its uh, genes and what are the what is the dna present in those organisms so let us first uh, briefly discuss about the importance of biology in everyday everyday life so first point is it allows humans to better understand their bodies so if we take biology it it uh, makes us to understand the bodies so if we study the human body so not only is uh, physical structure but uh, in relation to its uh, internal structure its functioning its diseases if we study this entire about the human beings we can uh, we can understand those uh, diseases and what and what organisms causing those diseases so by understanding those uh, about diseases we can control them by uh, removing certain disease causing organisms and it understand every organism smallest bacteria to red roots and blue wells as i said before this biology uh, covers entire organisms from the small cell bacteria not only bacteria not only humans but also plants and in the marine organisms and to understand the similarities between all living organisms for example dna so it also helps us to understand the similarities so if we take uh, if we study the similarities between the organisms if any changes occurred in the human beings it can be replaced with the same organism that have same genetic information and it also helps doctors to avoid diseases so how we can avoid diseases means by knowing about the pathogens so pathogens are the organisms that cause the diseases to humans so if we study the certain pathogens and how they are growing and what conditions they are uh, uh, causing diseases to humans we can uh, uh, treat uh, those diseases in humans by controlling certain pathogens so uh, let us uh, discuss about the importance in a uh, certain fields so first uh, in agriculture and industries so what is the importance of uh, biology in industries and agriculture means it increases overall crop production means how it can increase crop production means uh, if we study the pests uh, which are causing diseases in plants by controlling this pests we can increase the crop production of 
plants and to improve seed varieties which means uh, if you if you require a certain quality of the plant for if you take mango if you require certain uh, color to the plant to the fruit by improving certain uh, characteristics in that fruit we can increase those uh, seed varieties and protection means which is nothing but protection from the pathogens how we can protect means by developing disease resistant uh, plants means that plants are uh, protect themselves from disease causing a pest so let us discuss the first point for food man depends entirely on green plants that can alone capture solar energy for food means we human beings entirely depends on a plants because plants can alone capture solar energy means plants use solar energy and produce food by a process known as a photosynthesis so photosynthesis means in the presence of a sunlight or by using solar energy plants prepare food materials we humans depend on those food materials for our living and agriculture is the result of man taking advantage of interrelations of soil climate and natural habitat means we need a plants for a, to meet our daily requirements so if we study the interrelations of soil climate and natural habitat we can use those plants for our food means if we study the interrelations of soil means which soil is better for the great crop production and climate which climate is rest, is uh, useful for certain plants and in which habitats they can give more crop by studying those all factors we can improve the crop production and we can use those foods for our needs and the third point is high yielding varieties of crop plants like rice wheat sugarcane are bred experimentally means high yielding varieties means in general plants produce certain amounts of crops but we can if we need a more amount of food we can develop high yielding crops means we can change the we can change the genes in those plants so that those plants can give high yielding varieties so for example uh, Uh, rice wheat sugar by increasing those production we get uh, high crops a uh, um, high crops of that plants and uh, this is resistant seeds means seeds can uh, 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 seeds can be attacked by different types of pathogens but by developing this is resistant seeds we can protect the plants from those pathogens and development of fishery and animal husbandry means we human beings not only depends on plants but also de- but also depends upon fishes and animal husbandry such as uh, cattle and uh, be on on buffaloes for meat and milk by develop- by developing those uh, fields we can also increase the uh, production of our uh, foods and the second field is foods and beverages so uh, how, what is the use of studying about uh, foods and beverages means we can uh, develop a balanced diet means if we if we require proteins so if we study the uh, foods in which are protein which are rich in proteins we can take uh, only that foods so it helps in uh, balanced diet and in how many ways we can see see people consume biological products for food means biological products means uh, plant food or animal food livestock food for humans not only plants we also depends on livestock for our milk meat and uh, plants food feed fruit vegetables oils and sugar so what are the foods we are getting from those uh, biological plants means we are getting a food and and that uh, plants are used as a feed for certain animals and we can get fruits vegetables oils and sugars and uh, we are not only depending upon the plants and the animals we are also depending upon the small living organisms are are the, which are nothing but microbes so microorganisms are the small living organisms which we cannot see with our naked eye we can see them only by using microscope so how these microbes are using are helpful to us means they are useful in making cheese yogurt and milk and yeast we are famously known as yeast it is commonly yeast is an example of fungi which is also in a microorganism and yeast is used in making beer and insects or birds are also helpful for us to meet our food requirements uh, in how in which way means insects and birds are useful for pollination pollination means transfer of pollen grains 
from the male flower to female flower so that the female flower produces fruits and the third is clothing and textiles so how it is helpful for us means clothes are the most of the clothes are made from the plants so clothes are made from the biological substances biological substances nothing but the plants and the insects so we we famously known a cotton is made from is used for many clothing items so we use a linen for our clothing which is a plant based fabric and it is made this is formed from it is obtained from flax plant and the polyester is also uh, made from the biomass of uh, fossil fuels so here let us understand about what is biomass and the uh, fossil fuels so fossil fuels means when uh, uh, during earthquakes or natural disasters uh, plants and uh, animals are get buried under the layers of earth uh, and they decay and form fuels those are called as a uh, fossil fuels uh, and biomass means a uh, dried weight of a species so dried weight means if you take any uh, for suppose if you take any plant uh, and if, if uh, in the and if the water in the plant get evaporated and the remaining uh, dry weight of the plant is known as biomass so this biomass from the fossil fuels is used in making polyester and also these uh, plants are also used in making dyes nylon household textiles so in this way the biological uh, products are useful in clothing and textiles so let us understand the importance of biology in a beauty and a personal care so if we take a, a biological sources means biological sources means nothing but the living organisms these are used as ingredients for many personal care items for example if we take shampoo henna dye lotions cosmetics perfumes diapers soap nail polish remover these are all made from the biological products and next uh, transportation and leisure so transportation means if we take a uh, tires uh, which are made from the rubber tree and wood uh, wood from the plants is used in a uh, sports making a sports equipment for example baseball cricket bats and in also musical instruments uh, which, which are uh, violins and drums so, and uh, let us uh, uh, know about the importance in buildings so wood from trees uh, so we obtain the wood from trees uh, it is used as a framework for houses and the paper which is obtained from the pulp of trees is used in making wood and erasers are made from the rubber trees and ink pencils pens are all made from the biological sources and let us know about the fuels so many fuels are origin originated from the biological origin as i said before uh, the fossil fuels are made from the decayed plant and animal matter these fuels uh, are used by us for our transportation so fossil fuels uh, certain examples of fossil fuels are petroleum and uh, natural gas we use petroleum for our daily needs and it is made from the fossil fuels so how they are formed means they are formed from the decayed plants and animals and here let us know about the biofuels and what is the difference between fossil fuels and uh, biofuels so fossil fuels means when a plants or animals uh, get uh, uh, died or buried under the earth uh, they decay and produce gas which are used by us as a uh, petroleum and natural gas so biofuels means these are made from the plant material for example ethanol which is obtained from the plant sugars uh, and uh, is mixed with uh, gasoline to increase the fuel efficiency and uh, algae corn wheat rapeseed oils sugar beets are also used in making the biofuels and here renewable fuels are also decrease the uh, carbon emissions so what is meant by renewable fuels means so if you take a uh, fossil fuels uh, they are not renewable means if we once use this fuel so we cannot get back get them back so fossil fuels are called non renewable fuels so renewable fuels means a uh, biofuel so if we, uh, if biofuel get completed we can generate biofuels uh, by using those uh, plant substances and this biology biology uh, has a wide range of importance in the healthcare and medicine and also treating uh, human diseases so learning about human body's inner process is useful for treatment and research so if we study the human's inner body it is useful for as a treatment treatment of our diseases and research means uh, for researching about the 
organisms responsible for our diseases and biological items are also used as a medicines means if we take a many plant if we take plants many plant based products are used for us in making medicines for example if we take a aspirin it is made from the willow tree bark and if we take a fox willow it is made from the it is used for the heart medication so aspirin and fox willow are obtained from the plants and are used in uh, treatment and taxol is an anti cancer drug which is obtained from the plants and is also used in bandages and to understand the structures and functions of various body parts means we can if we, if we understand the structure and functions of various bo various body parts if it, if any certain body part is not functioning properly we can identify that disease easily and it also useful in treating various diseases and their cure and uh, its importance in human diseases uh, many animals cause and transmit diseases so not only microorganisms many animals itself uh, cause and transmit diseases such as food contaminated diseases water contaminated age born those all diseases are caused by the animals so if we study the animals which are responsible for those diseases we can control them and protect ourselves from those diseases and animals use it to use it to test on new drugs for example if it if we are uh, the vaccines we are using are first tested on the animals for such as uh, mice uh, so these animals are useful for testing new drugs if uh, the drug succeeded in those animals then uh, we can use those uh, drugs and advances in physiology medicines and surgery come from the zoology so first uh, study of animals is itself called zoology by studying the zoology we can uh, increase the we can advance in physiology which is nothing but functioning functioning of the body and medicine and surgery so this is our overall topic uh, about the biology it's important in every day life so i gathered as much as, inf as information that is possible so if you have any doubt do comment below in the comment box and if you need an explanation on any topic please free to ask in the comment box and thanks for watching my channel